is Bruno Tiano and welcome to our ninth tutorial in the CI series. I said in the previous video that we are going to um, create a form that will register our users. But well guys, you better get used to this. Things keep on changing. So in this video, I will show you how to create a copy of the users table that we just created and um, see how we can track how we can use the table to track our users table so that any other changes that will be made in the users table can be seen in the tracking table okay fairly simple sounds so sweet so um let's go ahead and get to know how to uh, create a copy of a table this is a simple thing but for some other reasons i kind of keep on seeing people exporting scripts and then uh, import, importing them back into um, other schemas or into other tables or databases so i want you guys to start getting used to this and you'll be laughing at yourself because whatever you've been up to was a little bit mischievous okay <laughs> you are up to some mischief okay so um the syntax for creating a copy of a table for example our users users table here is to just create create table x like y okay that is so simple and so sweet for example we can say uh, create table users audit like users simple is it yeah so simple so um by just running this script here you would have created a table like users table i think this is going to be the shortest video we ever we, have, we ever made so let me say select 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 all records from users audit okay so let me just select this command here and then press control enter so this is our audit table come on guys so sweet it has users id and the rest of the things but we can go ahead and modify this bit of table strip off the id here we can disable the keys um and maybe if our our table if our uh users table had some records that we wanted to appear in this table we could go ahead and say um insert insert into uh users audit okay audit and then you can say select star from users <laughs> oh this is so sweet so this command alone will just if you run this command alone if there are some records in the in the users table <laughs> the records will get uh, copied into our users audit table well sounds so interesting so at this point guys you should just uh kiss your old methods of exporting scripts by and get used to this okay other other things that you can know about this is uh, as you as you uh copy your as you copy your uh table you can alter you can alter the table and disable all the keys you know all the keys that we created and then you you re-enable them later so you guys go ahead and see uh, and uh, and see find out for yourself how you can do this okay but so far so good i think you guys have um i think you guys have learned a shorter way or a shorter method of creating a copy of um a copy of a table so uh, in the next uh, tutorials, uh, 
tutorial as I promised, I want us guys to go ahead and now create our form. I promise in the next uh, tutorial, <laughs> I promise in the next tutorial, we're going to uh, create our our form that will register our users. And I can promise you guys as well, I don't I don't keep my promises. So I don't know what will come up, but I'll try to show you guys how to create um, our form, uh, our user's registration form. And then after that, I think you'll have to uh, lock our triggers so that every, any action that any action that our user's table ca captures will appear in our user's audit, tr audit table. Okay, is that so sweet? I think so. So why don't we meet in the, in, in the next tutorial? Bye for now and subscribe.